Thank you. For the non-attached members, Mr. Stadler, one and a half minutes, please. President. President, firstly, I would like to um, quote Jorge Sampaio, the Portuguese president, who wrote a letter to the Greek ambassador saying that the closure of the single uh, public service broadcaster in Greece was an act of totalitarianism. And that's right. To reform a broadcaster doesn't mean taking it off air. And we've got the representative of council coming here saying that it, this is just a simple internal matter for Greece. But we have uh, talked for days and weeks about what's happening in Hungary. There people uh, criticize Viktor Orban and Hungary and we don't do the same thing for Greece. Council says they don't have a position. You know, it was after all only a month ago that uh, ERT was taken off, air, uh, taken off air. It's not being reformed. It's been taken off air. There's an enormous difference between the two of those. Uh, the commissioner said this is an internal domestic decision by Greek authorities. What would have happened if Mr. Orban had done the same thing in Budapest, Budapest and had taken a TV channel off air because uh, he didn't like uh, what they were saying? Well, we would all have just uh, uh, attacked them f uh, r uh, left, right and centre. But we don't do that with Greece, do we? That's uh, because Greece is into the tutelage of the Troika. Hungary is taking sovereign decisions, nothing to do with the Troika, and they're being attacked for it. But in Greece, decisions taken by the government are based on the leadership of the Troika, including the closure of a public service television station, and that's just seen as a domestic matter, and that's hypocrisy. Mr. Stadler, a blue card for you. Thank you very much. Uh, I wonder whether you think it would be a good idea to take the report on Hungary and see what kind of standards did uh, the European Union impose on Hungary and match it with the Greek uh, situation and if there is such a thing as the rule of law in this institution, the European Union, then maybe we should use the same standards for everybody. Do you think, uh, because it was a very good suggestion what you said, Mr. Stadler, and thank you very much for it, and uh, do you think that it would be a good idea that, uh, to, to, to see? Because certainly Hungary did not close down the public television and still we are offended and still we are uh, objected to lots and lots of criticism all the time. So maybe same standards would be a good idea. What do you think? Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Morvai, for this, selection, this suggestion. I'd like to pass that suggestion on to the European Commission straight away. Uh, now, when the Commission critically goes through the Hungarian report and compares it with what the Greek government is doing and then just replaces the word Hungarian for the word Greek, then they'll see how unfairly they've been treating Hungary. And they'll see that they have been using very different standards in the way that they treat different member states and they've been trying to make Hungary a colony of the European Union.